Well, this is a weird camera angle. Hi everyone, so you may already have seen my review of the Kuretake Gansai Tambi portable watercolor set. That is a lot to remember. I will leave a link to it here somewhere. And Kuretake, they actually sent me a whole <coughs> box of goodies. So I thought, why not do a little art supply haul or unboxing for all of you art supply lovers out there, myself included. So let's dive into this. Also, I am not sponsored at all, but I do love the Kuretake brand and their art supplies. I have used a lot of their products and they're such a good and high quality brand. Oh, we have some bubble wrap. The bubbles are huge. Oh my gosh, look at all those delicious art supplies. I'm just gonna put this to the side and then just grab things out of the box. Oh, they actually sent information about all the supplies in the box that is very neat but i'm not gonna read it just yet so yeah let's get started so the first thing from the box is the sig clean color dot enjoy big dot and small dot so yeah it is pens that you make dots with that is very interesting so here we have the pen and as you can see it got this super cute rounded tip i'm just gonna draw on myself who needs paper it isn't as soft as i thought but yeah let's try this out on paper so let's see we can make a big dot small dot yeah and you can also do lines with it i actually thought the nib would be a lot more squishy and soft but it is pretty firm it isn't like anything i've tried before so i think it can be a lot of fun to play around with these in maybe a separate video let me know if that is something that you would like to see but yeah really fun pens to play around with and then the next thing brush h2o water brushes in different sizes and shapes and i love that they are in different colors a water brush got a barrel that you fill with water and then you can just push the barrel and the water will flow out to the nib so it is quite practical to have with you when you're traveling or stuff like that so you fill the barrel with water preferably under a tap but i'm just gonna try to fill it in my water glass it didn't work that well but at least i got a little bit of water in there and then you just squeeze the barrel and water will be coming out and then you might recognize this one if you've seen my previous video i have already tried this out and reviewed it but when i'm recording this it is the first time i'm seeing this but yeah i am super curious to try this out you will already know what i think of this but i haven't even tried it out yet that is a little weird and then let's grab the next thing and i'm super curious about this little package wow it is actually quite heavy that that is a fun sound. Oh my gosh, what is this? Hmm, I have no idea what this is. I'm very happy that Kuretake actually sent this little folder with information about art supply. So this little guy is apparently called an inkstone that you rub sumi ink sticks in. I have heard about inkstones, but I've never seen one in real. So I assume there will be some ink sticks in the box, but yeah, so I'm super curious to try that out. And then we have the next thing in the box. Ooh. I do actually have these already and I love them. It is the Gansai Tambi Pearl Colors in a set of six. And let's see if I can get them out of there. I don't want to destroy the box or else I will just have to show you the ones I've already had. Come on! Ah, there we go. Look at those beautiful pearlescent colors. Oh, they are so gorgeous. So I'm gonna swatch these on both white and also on black paper because these metallic or pearlescent paints, they look amazing on darker paper. Now the water brush will come in very handy, but what I'm actually gonna do is to spritz a little bit of water on the paints just to prime them a little to get them nice and creamy. Look at those vibrant colors. So yeah, there we have them on white paper. Now let's swatch them on the black paper. 
Wow, look at that. So yeah, there we have them. Look how beautiful and shiny they are. That is so gorgeous. Oh, we got even more. Then we got another set that is very similar to the other one, but these are gem colors. Well, this one was a little easier to open. They are quite similar to the pearl colors. They are a little darker though, and this one got a purple. Yay! So let's spritz them with a little bit of water. Look at that beautiful red. Oh, that is a really lovely gold paint. It's interesting how the red looks more pinkish on the black paper, but on the white paper it looks more like it got a more brownish tone, so that is also very interesting how the color of the paper will affect the color of the paints. This gold paint, it looks amazing. So yeah, here we have them. And looking at both of them, I do actually think that I prefer the gem color over the pearl color. They got a little more punch to them, I think, but they are both beautiful paints. I think these are perfect to add a little bit of shimmer and shine to your art. Then we have this guy. This is the Cambio Tambien. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Yeah, it is brush pens. Look at that rainbow with brown. I do actually have one of these already in black and I love it. So I'm really happy to have them in some different colors. What I really like about it is that it got a real bristle tip. So you get kind of like this painted effect when you're drawing with them. And yes, the nib is all dry and white at the moment because it isn't activated yet. You just unscrew the tip and remove this yellow little ring. Boop. And then you just screw it back on again, I guess. I think that is how it works anyway. Oh my gosh, you have to remove this one too. I hope I didn't destroy anything. There we go. And now the ink should flow out to the nib just like that. So yeah, this will take a little while. All right, so let's see if they are working now. I've been letting them sit for a while. So we have the red one. Oh, look at that brush tip. And we have brown. And yeah, it looks like it takes a little while for the ink to flow out properly to the brush nib, but I think you just have to be patient. And this one don't have any ink at all. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can scribble this one to life. Nice. Yeah, this is a nice yellowish orange. This is a lovely blue. Let's see if you can actually mix and blend them. Well, it isn't a perfect blend, but they are at least mixing a little with each other, so... Oops, it looks like it takes a little time for them to dry, so that is something to keep in mind. Yeah, there we have those super nice and lovely brush pens. Oh, let's grab this big thing. Ah, so these could be the Sumi ink sticks. Oh, this is so interesting. Let's open it. That is a very interesting smell. Ooh, so they're called Kurotake Saibuku Shimbi. And we got some instructions how to use it, which I'm very, very grateful for. And they're using the ink sticks with an ink stone that I showed you before. And we got some real color swatches. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the ink sticks comes in these little 
wooden boxes. That is so neat. Here we got the ink stick. We got these little writings on it. I think you can see the writing a little better on this red one. And then we have these two bigger boxes. This one comes with a little note it looks like. But yeah, these are so pretty and I'm really looking forward to try these out. I actually think I'm gonna save these for a separate video because this is something that is completely new to me. And also maybe I can educate myself a little before using them. So yeah, super excited about these ones. All right, let's grab the next thing. Oh, more of these. So we got another little pack of the clean color dot pens. And yeah, these seem to be double-ended. Oh, that would be super awesome to make an animal portraits with dots only. Let's grab a green one. Ah, all right, so we got one dot end and one regular end. So this is just like a fine liner kind of. We got purple, I love purple. There is something so satisfying in drawing with these. So these ones got an additional little bullet nib or maybe a plastic kind of fine liner, I suppose. Very fine little line. So yeah, I guess that is great to add a little bit of details to your art. You can use this to do like Morse code. I think it would be really fun to make an actual artwork with these pens. So yeah, let me know if that is something that you would like to see. Next up we have these guys. Wow, that is a lot of pens. So we got the clean color real brush pens in a set of 48. And I actually have a couple of these already that I got in a scroller box, I think. Oh so yeah, this is what it looks like. As you may have guessed already, it got a real bristle tip. Let's just grab a few colors and see what they look like. Oh, that is a nice and vibrant color. I'm using watercolor paper, so that is why it looks very textured, I guess. Looks like you can actually mix and blend the colors. That is nice. actually created a pretty decent gradient. I really like just playing around with these pens. They are very juicy, but at the same time a little dry, especially on this watercolor paper. But I really like the texture that you get. So very nice and vibrant colors. So yeah, there we have those. So let's uh, grab the next one. So here we have something that is called Art and Graphic Twin. They are apparently ideal for design, illustration, rubber stamping and card making. So at one end we have a brush tip and at the other end we got a little tiny bullet nib. Oh, I can imagine this being really nice for coloring books, like the brush nib for larger areas and the bullet tip for tiny details. Light green and we got a dark pink. So here we have the brush tip. Oh, that is a nice brush tip. Maybe a little squeaky perhaps. And then we have this little bullet nib. I'm no hand lettering or calligraphy person, but I bet this would be awesome to do hand lettering with. Also, I might add that they may look a little weird on this paper because as I said, it is watercolor paper. So the ink is spreading out a little in the grain of the paper. I think you can do some really cool hand lettering using these pens. So, but yeah, there we have them. And I think we only got a couple of more things in here. This looks very similar to the previous ones and these are called Art and Graphic Twin RB plus F. Ah, I guess the RB stands for real brush and F stands for fine. So yeah, it is pretty much the same as the previous one, but this one got a real bristle tip and I'm not gonna try it on my nail this time. The other end is a fine bullet tip. We got so many brush pens. I love brush pens. We get kind of like the same texture as with a clean color brush pens. It is a little bigger though, I think. Yeah, it is a little bigger. Then we have the little bullet tip. Also very nice. I think with these brush pens and also these clean color ones that you can 
add water to them and make them look like watercolors. So let's try that. Oh, look at that. You almost can't see any of the pen strokes underneath, so they are dissolving very, very nicely. Let's try it with a clean color brush as well. Yeah, they are also dissolving. I really love how these look with water, so that is something that can be fun to play around with. Yeah, there we have those. And now I can see something that makes me very, very happy and excited. Oh my gosh, these are the Gansai Tambi water watercolors. I do actually have a set like this already but it is only 36 colors and this is for the eighth and I do really really love these paints. They are so pigmented and beautiful. Oh my gosh look at all those pretty colors and they comes in these huge pans just like the metallic paints and I did actually make a first impression and review of these a few years ago but I will leave a link to it here somewhere so you can check it out. If you add just a tiny amount of water, they will get much more creamy and thick, almost like gouache kind of, but when adding a little more water, they will be more diluted and look more like watercolors. And what I also really like about these paints is that they don't have this chalky feeling to them. They are so nice and smooth and vibrant. So yeah, there we have them, the beautiful Gansai Tambi paints. But yeah, that is the last thing in the box. I want to say a big, big thank you to Kurotaki for sending me all of these beautiful, lovely, delicious art supplies. Let me know if there is any of these art supplies that you would like to see more of. I'm super excited to try out their ink sticks. Also, I will have links to all of these art supplies in the description box below if there is something that you would like to try out yourself. Thank you so much for watching and again, thank you Kurotaki. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more art and art supplies and I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!